All right, hello everyone. Welcome to Peasant Cube, and I have the creator of the cube, Amaz, here with me drafting. Nice. Hello, guys. Um, so I guess I should start with a question I usually go. Do you want to draft okay. a fun deck or a good deck? It oh, can be the I mean, same. I'm down for whatever you want. Uh, I'm I, I'm more here just to you know see what you pick and like you know give me some thought, give me some thoughts and stuff and um, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah. That's good. A lot of freedom. So what stands out to me, Iwamori is a fantastic card. I don't want to take it this early. Okay. I'm looking at Vivid Marsh and Selesnya Signet because I think I fixing is... The lands. Yeah. You want the Vivid Land over the Signet? I think that could be good. I think Vivid Lands are quite overpowered. Okay. Yeah, I agree. They're like It just fixes all of your mana. Like I've gone five colored many of my drafts and done it quite successfully. Mm -hmm. So. And um, mostly in my um, draft format, you end up with a lot of playables, right? So land picks are very, very strong. Yeah, I, there's like almost no cards I've seen that I'm like, I wouldn't play that. So mm -hmm. it's nice. Um, okay, let's see. A lot of pressure here. We got Mana Leak. I don't want to take that <laughs> early. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm silently judging you, man. Yeah, it's cool. Well, Rich Gale Tusker is the windmill slam bomb. So we could well, take that. I think it's just okay. I don't think Tusker is that that insane. Really? Yeah, I think he I think he's fine. But I would say Savage Twister is like high up there for me. Mad Lake, like you said. Yeah. Um quite like uh Timurit and Calming as well. Those would be uh things that I'll be looking at. Interesting. You like Timurit. So I, I do yeah. like Savage Twister quite a bit. I have mm -hmm. yet to draft a deck with any amount of counter magic in it, so I might just okay. take Mana Leak. Okay, we can go Mana Leak. Yeah, see how that goes. Yeah. Well, that worked out, I think. Um, oh, yeah, this pack is loaded. Oh my gosh, can I just take this pack? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just take this whole pack. I think the draft would be good. Um, Vivid mm -hmm. Creek is good if we do want to go that route. Okay. I think Cosmina spells your opponent's cast that target a creature or planeswalker and costs two more. She's fine. I don't think I would take her this early. Um, Whirler okay. Rogue, I like. I she's alright. I love Whirler Rogue. She's yeah. So powerful. So I think for me, I'm between these two, and then on the wheel, I'm hoping for Banch Charm, Cosmina, Rails Outburst. Okay. I really like Whirler Rogue. It gives you like another axis of attack, makes things unblockable. All right, we could take the Rogue over the Creek this time. Yeah. I'm good for that. Mm -hmm. Ooh, a Boiler see, Works. Yeah, because like, uh, oh, I didn't see it yet. Yeah, Boiler Works is definitely a pick. So. When I um when I first designed a cube, I uh, pick a few cards to go like, okay, this is what the limit of the power level should be around. Yeah. Like these are some of the best cards. And World of Warcraft was actually one of them. Was like kind of the ceiling. Yeah, it's kind of ridiculous. Cause it like on its own it's four power for four mana, but then if you pair it with mm -hmm. something else, you can just hit with like a four power creature unblockable every turn. Right. And also the turn it comes to play, you make something unblockable already. So lots of uh lots of effects on this one creature. Yeah. And if you have multiple artifacts, like it's not just the Thopters that work. Oh yeah, you can just go works. off. Yeah. Boiler works for sure. Uh this card is a bit expensive. Mm-hmm. It's fine though. Bane of Belagette. Is there any reanimation in this cube? Yes, or is this yes, just... yes. But the reanimation start at like four or five mana. Uh, okay. In you know black and white. I guess the unburial rights I've seen before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a little difficult. Yeah, I, I mean it makes sense. You shouldn't be able to put a seven drop into play on turn two in popper. <laughs> yeah, and also that <laughs> that is a little unfun when you when you cheat it to play too early. Yeah. Um, I'm looking at Sarkara or Deem Worthy. Okay. Um, there are some good green cards. This card is amazing. I'm I glad love you found it. Yeah, really, really strong. What do you want to take here? Um. Yeah, I'm okay with one of these red cards. Read the Bone's also pretty good. If you want to be blue, right? Bl uh, blue, black. I'm going to take Deem Worthy, I guess. Good. Get a little okay, removal. Ooh, Fate okay. Stitcher. I love this card. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. There's so many good combos there. So how long did it take you to make this cube? Um, oh, uh, I mean, I mean, well, the first thing is like, I think it's one year to this version. I started the cube like, you know, with like 300 cards or something like that. And then just gradually added cards to it and upgraded it. But um, yeah, I wouldn't say this is like the complete final version or anything. It just happened to be when Magic Online wants me to, you know, feature it. Yeah, it Magic makes sense. Is awesome. I mean, is a cube ever at its final version? Yeah, never, right? That's <laughs> come out. You want to play more sweet cards. Hang on, I gotta close this window. 
<laughs> okay. There's cars driving by. I think I'm gonna take Blaze. This goes face, right? This does. Yeah, this I'm really good. I'm yeah. down for that. I don't know why that's going so late. Oh my gosh. Ooh. <laughs> oh <laughs> my gosh. Okay. I want this whole pack. Um, yeah, these, these are all good too. I love Aether Eyes. I don't mm -hmm. know how good it is anymore. I played it like seven years ago and it was good. Royal's good. <laughs> okay. And Monastery is oh, good. Seven years ago, I wasn't even playing. But yeah, I think um, I will be on either the Monastery or the G Electrode. Oh yeah, G Electrode too. I just don't like playing creatures. Yeah. I'm going to take Monastery, I think. Oh, you don't like playing creatures? <laughs> 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 that's, a, that's a good one. He says, as he might just take a Thundering Jin. Although, Sinua Striker mm -hmm. is really good, too. Yeah, I, 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 I personally really like Pingers. And I think Pingers are really strong in this cube. Uh, All right, we'll take the Jin. Yeah, because, like, one of the, I think one of the strongest cards is, like, uh, what's it called? The one that makes birds, Battle Screech. Oh, yeah. Uh, Battle Screech, and also, well, all the, all the things that are like that, like Lingering Stores and stuff. So if yeah, you don't so have a clean way to deal with those, you're, you're just dead. And we did pass the Savage Twister, so that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Um, we could take a Teamer Charm. Does it, does it even do anything good? Okay. Counter a spell. Give everything unblockable. It's fine. It's None of fine. these cards are really good for us. I guess no, Stone not Cloaker. particularly. Okay. We'll take Stone Cloaker. Because we have the Monastery, right? Yeah, I'll take Stone Cloaker. Sure, sure. Yeah. Okay. Um, Guild Mage is good. Bant Charm. Put a creature on the bottom. I think I want to take Bant Charm just in case. Okay. Yeah, you do love those, uh, you know, super multicolor <laughs> cards. Yeah. I guess maybe that's too ambitious for a man. I could just take oh, a man. guild mage. No. I'll just take the guild mage. Okay. No, I know it's fine. I mean, I, I love <laughs> players who go like, all right, I'm going to draft a five-color Haunted Charm deck. <laughs> yeah. Well, the problem is I've just done that like four times in a row. So okay. I'm going to take Ulcerate. I'm not going to play Treasure Hunt, I don't think. Okay, okay. What is the Guardian doing? Wow, okay. And Read the Bones. Read the Bones as well. I think Read the Bones is very powerful too. Yeah, I like Read the Bones. Yeah. Blessed Alliance. So I think I'm basically just not green. <laughs> That's what I can okay. say. <laughs> All right. All about right. my mana. Um, white might be a splash. Mm -hmm. um, so what, a, what was it like getting your cube on Magic Online? Like, how have you liked it so far? Uh, yeah, it's been fun. It's just, uh, I've been watching a lot of streamers do it, and, um, you know, oh yeah, Counterspell is great here. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I just, I just like, you know, hearing them talk about what they value highly and what they don't, because it's very different from person to person. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, the best cards, I think, in the cube for design purposes are the ones that, you know, some people hate and some people love. Uh, that's, th those are the cards I'm always going to keep in the cube. Yeah. That's so weird. I mean, yeah, it's very hard to please everybody because everyone has different yeah. play styles. Um, mm -hmm. I imagine most people aren't as ambitious as I am with taking five color cards, for example. <laughs> exactly. But something like, um, you know, Demonic Tutor, right? Uh, some people think it's trash. Some people think it's insane. <laughs> it's uh, one that really makes people go crazy. Interesting. I think it's just fine. I've never been like... Right. Because what are you tutoring for? It's an uncommon. It's not going to, like, ruin the game or anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But people are like, oh, this is like, I don't know, um, played in vintage or whatever. <laughs> so it must be crazy. <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. Um, I'm looking at the bounce land. I just really value them highly. Okay. Um, Evolving Wilds is fixing, but this is a land that draws a card. So there's something there. I love Pondering Mage. Yep. It's a bit expensive. Good with Stone Clover, though. I think the other option would be right of the Raging Storm. Yes. Oh, man, that card almost destroyed me. This card is uh, quite bonkers. And if you have like, um, if you have an effect that can take uh, advantage of it, like a Blood Artist or something, you drain two for each uh, turn rotation. It's, oh, I, <laughs> I really want to take the Gruel Turf, though. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's take the Gruel Turf. Gruel Turf is fine. All right. Yeah, taking Lad is always correct. Oh, ooh, man. Oh, my gosh. I love this cube, I just have to say. Every time I open a pack, I just see so many good cards. Yeah, like, what do you want all, out of all these goodies? Like, this is so good for our mana, but, like, these cards are absurd. And then Tranquil Cove. If we can get black in here, that does give us a lot more playables. All right, I'm down for the last. All right, let's do it. <laughs> let's, let's go. Uh... uh... Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the live. <laughs> <All right. laughs> oh man. Thank God strip mine is not this cute, huh? I know. I had strip mine and wasteland in my peasant cube to uh -huh. prevent exactly this because 
It, I think this might be one of the best strategies in the cube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If left um, I already have a lot of land destruction in the cube already, like Bram Bramble Crush and, you know, Slime Ball and stuff like that. So you could get punished by playing a lot of double lands. That's true. But at the same time, they're just so sweet, so it doesn't it's, matter. Yeah, and like, it's not like you're really down that much, right? Because you play mm -hmm. a dual land, it's a tempo hit, but it's still just one card. So if they kill your Gruel Turf, it's like them just killing one land from a regular draw. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. You just like, you have a little tempo setback, but that's it. Man, you really hate creatures, don't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Metal War is fine. All right, we'll take Metal War. We'll take Metal War. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. My philosophy is if you... Because in common and uncommon, the removal mm -hmm. is so good, but the creatures aren't Have you played against the Blink deck yet? Yeah. That deck is really yeah, good. Yeah, Blink deck is pretty good. Yeah. Creatures are good. Okay. Uh, I love the Black Honden. All right, we could take Black Hond, and I'm down for that. It just I, wins I, the I game. I play this all the time. Yeah, just just by itself. All right, we'll take that. So many good cards in that pack too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ooh, Bloodfell Caves and Annihilate. Okay. Okay, I gotta read this card again. What format? There's some of the cards you put in here. I have no idea what format they came from. <laughs> uh, this is from Time Sparrow, I think. I didn't even play Magic when it's Time Sparrow. I just um. <laughs> You just looked it up. I just figured like Overrun is green, 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 and nobody ever plays that card, so I might as well, you know, upgrade it to something better. I'm that done for the... that. It works for me because I like playing all the colors. Although, mm -hmm. I think I want to take Annihilate. That is pretty heavy black. Okay. Yeah, I'm at, I'm down for that or the land as, again. <laughs> yeah, lands are good, but I'm gonna continue taking lands here. So. <laughs> okay. Okay. We'll get there. Um, I think we have enough bounce lands for now. I don't know why they're going so late. Mm -hmm. I think I think we're good on it. We have three, right? Yeah. Yeah. So that's, that three is plenty. Yeah. Um, Cartologus is pretty good. Wall of Denial is pretty good too. Yeah, Cartologus is great. It is a lip. No, it's actually just pretty good, right? You only have to get it yeah, to level three. Yeah, when you upgrade it to, to level three, level three is just insane. Yeah, I'll try it. We're okay. like pretty slow, so having more early plays, I think, is really good for the deck. Um, oh, this this specter is looking more and more playable. That's true. I've never been too impressed with the card, but I guess that's just because I hate creatures. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, this is like a Honden, right? <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah, but it's a Honden that they can kill. They could kill it, and then you can unearth it again. You know, it's fine. It's between that or Seaside I be Citadel. On Spectre. I will be on Spectre. Spectre's sweet. All right, we'll, we'll take the Spectre here. Ooh. Okay. Far and Away is great. Void Beckoneer makes them have Death Touch. Oh, that's really good with, like, Thundering Jin. Yeah, like and Pingers in general. Yeah, yeah, that's a combo. Yeah, but I think I like this a little bit more. I I, I would take Far Away for sure. Yeah. So, what deck Ooh. is your favorite archetype? My favorite archetype. Yeah. Hmm. My favorite archetype is probably Black Red Reanimation in this cube. Really? Is it your favorite because yeah. it's good or because it's the most fun for you? It's most fun and it's also really good. Um. Yeah. I mean, Torn of Souls is just ridiculous, right? You get one, and then you get like a haste trumpet blast as well. Uh, the card is busted. I just passed that card, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you did. But it's okay. We're not really like creature based. It's not gonna work out too. And spider spawning deck is also really fun. Yeah, I like spider spawning, yeah. true fire captain in case. I'm not doing anything else, but that's like yeah, completely uncastable in our deck. Yeah, fair enough. All right, fair all right. Enough. cool, cool. Well, I'll have to try the reanimation deck. I haven't even like looked. Ooh, soul manipulation. Oh my gosh. <laughs> all the value. <laughs> it's so overwhelming every pack. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Uh, do you see it feel that way, or do you just see a pack and you just look at like you only notice like two cards that are really exciting? No, to you? I mean the whole point of the cube, what like one of the design pillars is you want to open a pack and you want to first pick like five of the cards. Yeah, uh, that's that's kind of how it goes. So when people ask me like what I think the best pack one pick one is in the cube, I have no idea because I just want to pick all these sweet cards like any anyways. Yeah. Return a permanent to its owner's hand, destroy target non black Wow, that's one of that the best charms. Really good, but it's probably going to wheel. Yeah, um, I'm not going to take that. I think I'm between it, but... manipulation and path to exile. Sleep is also mm. kind of good, but we're not really a tempo I like Anchor deck. as well. Anchor is pretty good. Anchor to the Aether? Yeah, I'm hoping that comes around. Okay. Is that too ambitious? I think, I think we're going to take the charm on the, on the wheel, right? Oh, that's Just true. Like All right, I'll take yeah. Anchor because I have a lot of counter magic. Okay. Yeah, and you also don't have a lot of creatures to pick back up with soul. Yeah, that's fair. That's ooh. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, 
Okay, so Bit Blast, Mode Drifter, Opportunity, right? Yeah. I think I'm going to say no to Bit Blast because we have three counter spells. That's true. Yeah, that's true. Um, which is why I don't like drafting them normally because this card's so good, but... Okay. Um, between Mold Drifter and Opportunity is very tough. I think it has to be Mold Drifter, huh? Yeah, I think so. The 2-2 body is pretty relevant. If we do wheel, I guess we're going to take the charm instead. We'll just take Mold Drifter. Maybe we wheel Opportunity, you never know. Oh man, I want to play Death Sprout so badly in this deck. <laughs> you even have a single green card? Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hear me out. Oh, man. We okay. have a Gruel Turf right. and a Vivid right. Marsh. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna do it, but I'm just letting you know. I mean, okay. I, I, I like how that's like, like the first thing that pops into mind. It's like, oh man, I want that death star. Well, that's why I asked if like one card stands out to you because I saw this pack, and the only okay. card I saw was this one, and then I, I had to look be, at everything. Yeah, I would be on Sahili, like uh, you, like you hovered. Uh, Blood for Bones is also very strong. Yeah, I like Blood for Bones. We don't have enough creatures. We to... don't have enough targets for it. Yeah. I'm just gonna take Sahili. Um. Mm -hmm. Do the copied creatures get enter the battlefield effects? I don't think they no, do. No, no, no. They're already on the battlefield. Okay. That's not so bad. Okay. So, man, we could have had a sweet Cascade deck. Mm hmm Telling time is instant. Myriad Landscape is interesting. I would be on Landscape here. Yeah, I like Landscape. Aetherborn I've never seen get picked up, but it's so good. So maybe I'll get that to come around. Quite a but... card. Uh, I like the Landscape here. Yeah. Skin Render... Azorius Signet does help our white situation, although... <laughs> no. <laughs> Are we just fixing the skills right now? I think, uh, I think we're good on colors. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I, I think we'll be happy with skin right here. And then maybe Dance of Devils. Ooh. Oh, no. <laughs> There's so many here. I mean, that is like, that is like one of the best cards in the cube. I know. I'm going to take it, but this, yeah. this, this, this. This is good, yeah. Yeah. Meter Golem is sick. I love Meter Golem. Turn to Mist, Blink's a creature. That's actually good with a lot of things we have. Mm -hmm. Frost Links, that's about it. If I could cycle yeah. this, I could, but it's between these two. Yeah, Alpine Guide is also very strong, but we're not really red-based, right? We're like blue-black splashing a bit of red, right? Yeah. So, so we yeah, probably I won't even so. have a mountain. Yeah, exactly. I think I like... Let's see, Turn to Mist can really protect our creatures from removal, too. Like, Okay. I'd be, I'd be down to Turn to Mist. It has some combos with Moldrifter, the Spectre. Yeah, it's good like with it. a lot of things. Ooh, man. Exclude. Is it Signet? I oh. love that you put Torrent of Scarabs oh, in the queue. You have to love Torment. I absolutely love that card. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's so, so you. Yeah, I was... You draft multiples of this card, and it's game over. Oh, one is already so backbreaking. I want to take the signet, yeah. but exclude is absurd. We're not wheeling anything from this, right? It's eight cards left. So. Yeah. Okay, we can. You can. Exclude. I'll let you pick this one. What do you want? Exclude's good. No, let's exclude. All right. It's it's great. Wow. Got the charm. Cursed witch. Yeah. Pings them for one. I like soul manipulation, but we have so many counter magic already. Right. Although getting back mold drifter. Charms are charms usually overperform. Yeah. We'll take that. Uh. Hmm. Okay. Well, we could take the green Honda, and I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's actually not bad for this kind of deck, right? You just you know play some enchantments, kind of sit there, wait till your opponent does something, and then remove it. Yeah, and if they don't, like we have two Hondans. Yeah, it's either that or Chitting Rats, which is a solid three. You don't like Pacification Array? Um, I think we have enough things to do with our mana. All right, we'll take the rats. Okay. See, look, Death Sprout came around. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Okay, we did it. <laughs> Really, I'm gonna take it. Okay. <laughs> I'm not playing any of these, right? Like, yeah, that's true. <laughs> this is a splash anyway, so. Perfect. If I want to bring oh, in like God. River Hoopoo Perfect. Death Sprout and go really deep, I can now. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't. I mean, this card. Why is this card going so late? Juniper Order Ranger is insane. Green is quite open this draft. Yeah. See that we should have. <laughs> no, I think our deck's totally fine. I we think have... it's great. Yeah. 26 playables. Mm-hmm. Let's see. This is essentially a four drop. No, this deck's actually really good. Quite, it's quite fun. Um, I don't know. Oh, River Hoopoo. Yeah. And I've been really fond of running 16 lands with so many bounce lands. Okay. I mean, do we want the Boros Signet? I don't know. 
Let me think about this. A little ramp. I mean, we can either do that or we can cut one of the threes. We have a lot of threes. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, no, that card is so slate. <laughs> we have to play with that card at least once. All right, All right. we'll keep it in the main. We'll put that in the main. <laughs> but then we have to cut another good card. We can cut Thundering Jin as well. I don't think that's uh, ridiculous. Okay, we can cut Jin. I like playing Boro Signet over the 17th land, I think. Okay. Because it's. I can be down for that. A we have three uh, lands. bounce lands, anyways. Yeah. yeah, so like we really just need two lands in our opener and we're good to go. Okay. Uh, boy. Okay. So oh, I don't need any white. Uh, nope. Um, red sources, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wow, that's actually quite good. Wow. Yeah, yeah, we only need one mountain then, I guess. I'm tempted to... No, we just Although... need one. Yeah, the mirror landscape cannot fetch the one single mountain. Is it up to two or is it exactly two? Uh... It's up to two. It's still really a loss oh, of value. Oh, cool. Though. Okay, well, let's do that. That's good. Just one mountain is fine. Yeah, one mountain. And then I think I want to probably just up the blue count. I have one, two, three, four, five. So I think I'm just going to put it all into islands. Okay. Because we have, like, this stuff. Okay. And then our black cool. is one, two, three, four, kind of five. Oh, our black is kind of awkward. Uh, I'm down for cutting an island for another swamp. I might have to cut a... What if I just don't play this mountain? Whoa. So, so hear mean... me out. That okay. makes landscape not be a red source. Right. But we really don't want to get mountains with it anyway. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven red sources for uh, three spells and then one we're not going to cast until the late game anyway. Wait, so what, you, you want to put in another swamp? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I think so. Because we have one, two, three, four, okay. five, six, seven black sources. And we have Chittering Rats, Skin Render, and Annihilate. Yeah. You, we could also not run the Mirror Landscape. I don't think that's a problem. Because we have so much to do with our mana already. That's probably the best idea. So we keep Mountain, we keep Swamp. Okay. I like that. Nice. You good with it? I'm, I'm good at this. We have enough win conditions, right? Yeah, yeah. We're, yeah. <laughs> We got okay. Turn to Mist on Werther Rogue. What could go wrong? <laughs> also, this goes face. So, like. This does go face, yeah. It's just expel. Yeah. Sweet. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to keep this hand. Yeah. yeah let's do it. So, how many drafts? Oh, what? Ooh. That's fine. I think I'm just going to discard an island. I think islands, yeah. Yeah. Um, I just really want to draw a bounce land. It's a pretty aggressive Raven's Crime, I will say. Raven's Crime is very strong. The retrace cards with uh, Garter Snipe or like Young Pyromancer Ooh. can just crush you. Ooh, that, that is a good draw. Yeah. I'm excited now. Good. I might discard Sahili, Nathan's Buffoon. Hi, am I Caleb G? Yes. I am also here with Amaz. <laughs> 2v1. <laughs> <Yeah>. And. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Oh man, poor guy. <laughs> I just played against. See, now, two... if we lose. Now it looks really bad on us, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what a nice guy. I'll just say thanks. Yeah. All right, they're not Ravens Criming, so that's good. Um, part of me wants to play the Vivid Marsh, but. Um, nah, I, I think we just go with Island. Yeah, you're right, because we, we have enough mana to cast our threes anyway. Yeah, we go 3-3, three, three, and then we have Vivid Line for the turn 4. And if he plays, like, what is it, Davriel, Shadow Mage, or whatever? Mm -hmm. Oh, or if they don't do anything. Alright, I'm just going to get down to Healy. I like that. Start making 1-1s. One Unfortunately, the, we can't, like, make more Chittering Rats. Imagine if we could just keep coppering the rats. Oh, that would be too <laughs> gross. Uh... Have you pulled off Ephemerate Chittering Rats yet? That, that sounds pretty dirty. I ha uh, The most impressive... I have done this turn two Trostani Summoner. How? I saw that in your write-up, and I was like, is this a yeah. joke? Uh, Faithless Looting, turn one, and turn two, you Vesper Luck Evoked, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's actually fantastic. <laughs> that is insane. So I'm just going to rat them because they're missing land drops. I like that. Hit them where it hurts. And then... Pretty much um, time walk, yeah. Yeah. And then what do I do next turn? Probably... 
Probably start with Read the Bones. Yeah, see if I can hit a land for Counterspell. Right. If they play a creature, obviously, we play the Jellyfish. Mm hmm. Okay. Could also Jellyfish our rats for the ultimate <laughs> I like. Hmm. I think I'm going to get up to a fifth land and then do that so I can hold up Counter Magic in the same turn. Right, yeah, yeah. So I think we read the bones here for sure. Yeah. Make a 1 1. Oh, no. That's actually not that bad. It's all right. Hit him. Play the Marsh. And Sahila's going to do some work this game. For sure. Also, a good combo with uh, Werther Rogue, right? Their artifacts. Yeah. Not bad, yeah. Not bad. <laughs> oh, speed double. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna attack first. See what happens. Okay. Um, I kind of want to hold up counter magic, but that seems really passive. I, I I think it's fine. You're hitting them for three every turn. Yeah, and they need to add, they need to respond to what you're doing. So I think passing is okay here. All right. Yeah, and I guess if we draw a single land, then we can play the rogue with counter magic up. Right. Consign Sahili. Hmm. I would probably just counter it you make a 1-1 one, one again as well yeah that's true it's also a pretty big tempo hit for them right because yeah basically if we let that happen and then they do something on their turn and we like have to double counter then we just right. lose all these one ones it hurts but we're winning on tempo oh by far yeah, yeah. so we have four permanents on the board yeah they have none and we're just gonna draw a bounce land here and it's gonna be great oh okay that's something too <laughs> Um, what if I turn something into a rat? That's oh, just one that damage. one extra punch. <laughs> no, let's not. Well, it's like they're not going to have burn, so I need to use the Healy eventually, but... Right, that's true. I could do that later on. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I really want to play a spell, but I'll, I'll be disciplined. Yeah, same. I think... I don't mind Mana Warrior on your own rats either. That, that could be okay. Yeah, if, if they don't do anything and we don't draw a land, we'll do that next turn. Okay. We want them to cast, like, Dinrova Horror. Yeah, so something that's six mana, for sure, yeah. Yeah, and then we countered it. I guess Dinrova's scary because they could, like, unburial rights. They're doing nothing. There's our land. Perfect. That's a land. Hit for four. All right. How do you feel about just playing well, Hondin? I, I think Hondin's better, yeah. I like that. Save my vivids. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure we'll need it. Yeah. Well, we do have the double red spell. Oh, that's true. That is true. So, um, another reason for playing Hond in here is, like, it seems like most of the board wipes, if this resolves, they're in trouble. Um, it seems like most of the board wipes do two to each creature. That's right, yeah. So if we, like, play Warlord Rogue and they play, like, Golden Demise or whatever, that could be a problem. Ooh. Oh, no. Oh, okay. None of that. <laughs> None of that. <laughs> yeah. You can't just draw four cards in the face of a Honden. It's also one, two, three, four, five, six. Sahili's gonna hit the last punch of damage. Okay. Maybe. Oh. Wow, that was what was happening. Oh, but they're tapped. They're dying. <laughs> yeah, they did. They're dead, they're dead. <laughs> Ooh, wow. That their deck looks kind of scary. Opponents thinking like you. The on um, you know, no creature deck. It's a good strategy. Um, I think I might even take out Essence Capture. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, uh, that's lethal. My way to go around things. So I don't know if we have any way to deal with Rise from the Tides. Uh, do we have any Exile stuff? No. No Graveyard Exile stuff. So I think I'm going to get rid of this. They just don't have that many creatures. Right. Hit him with the Jin, maybe? Jin seems fine. The, it's very light of removal on the other side, right? Yeah. I don't really see any. Um... <laughs> No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> you, you could also put in Stone Cloaker. Uh, the white source is a little bit easier. That's what I was. We have Mystic Monastery and the Boar Signs, right? Yeah. So and it does exile two... some of his flashback stuff. I'm trying to think if that's better than any card we have. Um. Because I like Thundering Jin well, now. Right. Exclude is also a counter creature. That's true. And also, Anchor to the Ether is also a creature interaction. Oh, yeah, let's... Cool. Okay, we can do that. Lower that. I think I, like, exclude a bit more, just because it at least okay. draws a card. Yeah. <laughs> uh, magic players, and they're drawing cards. <laughs> I think I would run it like this. Okay. Wait, wait we're not running a... 
we're not running planes, so just... Okay, fine, we can run planes. Should we? Yeah, I did get rid of a double blue card. So now my blue requirements are easier. Okay. It's just kind of spell and World Rogue for double blue. Yeah, that seems good. <laughs> How big of a deal is card advantage in Hearthstone? Um, it is actually a little bit less, right? Because you get to decide the attacks. Oh, okay. So you can just, like, attack creatures directly? Yeah, I've yeah, never yeah, played the game, I have to say. Yeah, 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 it's all good. <laughs> Let's do this. Apologies. Nice. And then, let's see, if we play Bounce Land, we can play turn 3 Sahili. Uh -huh. Oh, now they bring in the creatures. Good to Sushiru. So I can level and start looting, but I think this is probably better. Yeah, we probably need to play the land, the, the go turn. Pass turn. All right, we got this. Easy. Yeah, this is my, um, <laughs> this is like my favorite way to play Magic. Um, you know, I, I, I think some of the rares are just like a little too much from like the po more powerful cubes. They just can't take over the game. That's exactly my problem with it as well. It's, it's like, I don't like it when one card can just win on its own. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to play Sahili. Okay. And then we can start doing stuff. Doing all the stuff. Yeah. Like level up plus, I don't really need to ulcerate, I guess. And I don't care if Sahili gets hit once. Yeah, and this matchup is just... If, if Sahili is at one loyalty, it's the same. Yeah. Unless you make a Chittering Rats and kill them exactly. <laughs> <laughs> then three loyalty would be enough. <laughs> that's true, that's true. It's a token? No. Okay. So how did you get your cube on Magic Online? Because I have so many cubes I want to play on there. Okay. Uh, I think I went to a GP before. And oh, that's... I went to GP before, and um, you know, uh, on the second day, I just found some um, some some guys to play my cube with, right, in like a hotel or something. Mm -hmm. And then they happened to be like, "Oh, I also work at Wizards," <laughs> and they like my cube, so they're like, "All right, let's uh, try and get this on there." Oh, that's actually really sweet. Yeah. So the recommendation for an aspiring cubist is to go to a GP and it's play. To get lucky. <laughs> cube with random people. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Just get lucky. <laughs> I'm taking notes. Um, I could play the Cryptologist, uh huh, or I can cycle Deemworthy. Not sure and which I want to do. If we don't hit the Future Coblin, Sahil is going to take another hit, right? Yeah. So I. Uh, huh. I'd say that you know Sahili being at one loyalty is fine in this matchup here. Yeah, and then we could also hold up an Ulster and a cycle Deemworthy for next turn. So just play Swamp and go. I I would just play Enclave Cryptologist and play one of the tap lines. Okay. That, yeah, that's what yeah. I was thinking. I like, yeah. I mean, I guess these are... No, Vivid Marsh is better because we have Stone Cloaker. Mm -hmm. Also, we might need the... Oh, actually, no. no. The, the, we, have, we have blue for the Necropolis too for level up. Yeah. She takes two. That's fine. All we care about is the one. That's all right. Also, I'm a huge fan that you put the uncommon Planeswalkers in this cube. Right, yeah. I didn't put every single one of them. Just uh, the good ones. It's only, it's only 10, yeah. That's a big boy. Did you not put Narset in? I did not. Thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs> that card is so stupid. I hate Narset. So, Crow's mm -hmm. Charm, we can bounce the Gurmag Angler. Right. One, two, three, four. Someone to play Necropolis, that's we... for sure. Uh, well, we could uh, also just deem worthy for the full cost and then use the Servo to block and save the Sahili too. Okay. What if we cycle Deem Worthy, then ulcerate the Angler too? That's fine too. That's pretty good. If we want to draw another card. But then it, it's kind of like, would you want to keep the ulcerate or do you want to like... Oh, it, yeah. Hmm. I think I want another card because they don't... I mean, I guess they're showing more creatures now. Okay. I'm going to try okay, this. We can do that. Okay. I'm going to play around days doing it this way because we're smart. <laughs> so smart. <laughs> I guess the, the one downside of doing it this way is we get fewer servo tokens because cycle doesn't trigger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's okay. Say yes. Okay. All right. So next turn, we get to Denrova Horror. Um, I'm going to chump with the servo. For sure. Yep, sure. 
Yeah. I almost just passed. Though I mean, Sahili's probably only going to give us like one or two more servos anyway, so it doesn't matter that much. But it does like gain us effectively a bunch of life because ooh, there's the stone right. cloaker. Not bad. Hmm. Hmm. So it... I guess counterspell is a worry here. Yeah, that's all I'm concerned about. Because I could go one, two, three, four. I have six, so I could like play land, double level up cryptologist. Uh, I guess then I have to block. Okay. Well, no. I mean, we could just triple level the cryptologist as well. <laughs> I think our opponent might be on opportunity here as well. That's fair. What? A, yeah, maybe we just triple level. I don't okay. hate that. It seems okay. I mean, if the rover gets countered, we are in a tight spot. Yeah, at least this way, if they're holding up counter magic, we're ahead. Sure, I'll do this. Okay, okay. Blue. So Sahili's going down. That's not the end of the world. Poor Sahili, yeah. Yep. I'm going to draw immediately. Okay. Sure. I guess there's no reason to do that, but I'm not blocking with it. <laughs> Playing around. I mean, there are some duress effects uh, in the cube. There are some what effects? Duress. Duress. Oh, that's yeah. true. And also, like, things that kill tapped creatures. Uh -huh. But there is also a possibility of me accidentally blocking, so... Gotta okay. play around your own weaknesses. You. See? True, true. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, so I want to discard the Signet, but I only have one white source, but I guess I, that's probably fine. Um, one, two, three. You four, could four. actually, like, Stone Cloak can just bounce itself, right? You can actually activate multiple times. Yeah, that's true. All right, we could discard yeah. this. We can, we can do that. We might we might get Ravens crammed again anyway. Yeah, I was thinking that. But if they do, then we get to at least run in. Oh. Oh. Wow. All right. Well, we got our one card. All right. Okay. Ooh, that's a good one. Um. So here's the question: Do I guess I can do both, right? I can play Hondin around Condescend and then play Boros Signet. Uh. Yeah. We can also just hold the Boros Signet too. But. Oh yeah, because they have Ravens crime. But we yeah. do need the white. I mean... We could exile Raven's Crime. We could, we could. But, but we do want to establish the Hondin this turn. We're right? casting Hondin for sure. And then we'll go from there. Let's do that. Okay, okay. If this gets counterspelled, then sure, we'll play Signet. Hmm. So you just say hold Signet. Yeah, that seems fine, actually. I, yeah. Hey, wait, so can we do, can we play Stone Clover twice next turn? One, two, three. Yeah. If we draw a line, right? Oh, you mean with Signet? With Signet, yeah. So we play Signet. We have one, two, three. Yeah, we need to draw a land. Okay, but if we play Signet now, we can Stone Cloaker twice. Yes. Okay. Well, what do you think? Because like, if our opponent Ravens climb uh, cram us with uh, with the, with the three card hand we have, that'd be pretty sad. All right, we'll just pass. Okay. Because we can. Yeah, I don't really care about the Signet that much, and they're gonna do it. So I think I just discard this. Yeah, seems right. Because even one Stone Cloaker is fine, and if they make us discard again, we can just discard this card. I don't really care that much. And then we could just wait until their hand is empty to try and go for mm -hmm. Denuvo Horror, potentially. Or until they tap out, obviously. Denuvo Horror is pretty good when uh, they have no cards. Ooh. Uh... <laughs> mm. <laughs> I mean, as long as it's not the 4-4. Four -four. I think Krosis Charm might be better to discard. Okay. Although we can combo that with Honden. To kill stuff? We could. We could. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, let's go to Stone Cloaker. Yeah. So they go down to one card in hand. Supernatural Stamina. Okay. There's our Exclude. Right. I think I'm just going to pass. I think the passing's fine. They can't Opportunity. If they run out of hand, then we can cross this Charm like a permanent if we need to. Yeah, I mean, we're just taking one damage. Yeah. Not a, not a big deal. The dream is they play like a huge creature and then hit them with the Exclude. This is a very different deck than what we saw in game one. Uh-huh. Ooh. Okay. Interesting. It's good for them because then they get to keep a card in hand for Honden. Oh, man, be a creature. Oh! No! <laughs> well, it's only one, two... Uh, how many is that? It's only four. Four? That's okay, not that's that fine, bad. I guess. So that's I'm going to charm okay. one of them. Right, right, right. Uh, return this... It's like the worst tapping ever, but whatever. I guess it was necessary. <laughs> so now they discard. Yeah. Well, the line, I guess. That they yeah. Pick up. yeah. Ooh. 
I want to get down the uh, Din Robohor, I think. Yep, it's a good blocker. Um, so whatever we bounce, we'll die. Right, so we can either kill the double land. I like not letting them have white mana, probably. I, I also like them not being able to cast Opportunity. Yeah, it's... Because oh. that's how they come back from the game. Yeah, I should have hit the what, blue source, maybe. No, 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 this is good, this is good. This, they have five mana to cast Opportunity. Okay, that's a good All right. thing. So if we draw an untapped land, we can Whirler Rogue into Exclude. Although if they draw a spell they can't cast... They have to find something that's two CMC or less. Yeah. Pretty that's cool. Hopefully it just gets discarded. It seems like it. Yes. Get out of here. <laughs> what was Ooh, it? Ooh, skin oh, render. Okay. Ooh, mold drifter. Uh-huh. I think I like that. Okay. Sure. Um, because World of Rogue will be good. Okay. All right, I think we're good now. Yeah, Man, I think... <laughs> Black Hana is so busted. It's so good. What a silly card. Because, <laughs> like, let's say they draw Opportunity this turn, right? It just gets discarded. Yep, that's right. Oh, okay. Make a 1-1 one, one Death Touch. Mm -hmm. That's okay. They have drawn well, Sorry. but again, I think we're... Commanding just, lead. Yeah. Planes is good. So I Whirl a Rogue and hold up Exclude plus Turn and Mist. Sounds good. Can um, we can just once. Yeah, we attack Vraska with Smoldrifter. And that's it, yeah. And then they basically die. Slow uh, death. How do you feel about... No, never mind. I was going to say draw step, turn to Mist, or turn Rover Horror, but that seems too aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're good. We're winning. We don't need to do, we don't need to do anything. Yeah, it's I just... also have Exclude, so like if they drew a creature yeah. and I couldn't exclude it, that would hurt. We just need to watch the show at this moment. Man, they keep holding cards in hand. Please be opportunity. Yeah! Yes! <laughs> Got him! <laughs> uh. <laughs> that oh, is definitely man. a crime. Okay. Yeah, um, one, one might even say a Raven's crime, right? Yeah. <laughs> mm. Okay, so we're making game actions here. It doesn't really matter. Yeah. Um, I guess we just do something. <laughs> yeah, I'll just do something. I'll attack just with do something. Moldrifter, Vraska, them. This sounds good. Yeah. I don't even really need to kill Vraska, but who knows? But why not? Yeah. yeah. And then I don't need white mana. Okay. I'll just hold up Annihilate. Yeah. I like how you're still tapping it. You gotta play, I don't know. <laughs> you gotta assert dominance, man. Yeah, I always make fun of people for doing that, but then sometimes I just, like, <laughs> don't sequence well. That's not sequencing, it's just, uh, you know, I'm tapping it because I can. Yeah, like, maybe somehow they have an instant speed way to draw a card with no cards in hand. <laughs> can you even do that in any format? Uh, well, if they had, like, a thing in their graveyard I didn't see, maybe. Mm, okay, okay. It might this swing out. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to block here and here. I'm going to take one, two, three, four, five, six. That's fine. Sounds good. And we are also turn to miss if anything bad happens. Yeah. Like, and if they're not playing spells, whatever they have in hand is just going to die. So like if they drew a counter spell right. there, like, what? Bone picker. Oh, didn't cast it. What? They've just Played given it up. around exclude. <laughs> Oh, they have six. Uh, All right. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> um, I really well, like don't want to have to do anything here, but four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I need to I hit mean, them for. You just need to set up a two-turn lethal, and that's it. That's yeah, I just need to hit them for five, and then that's five, right? So that's five, and the next turn is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So they die next turn, and I. Oh, have you can also hit with the. You can also hit with the Din Rover, but this is okay too, I guess. Yeah. I figured probably I'm just going to like defensively turn to mist my World of Rogue or something and it doesn't really uh, matter. Yeah, you could do it now, yeah. You could also turn to mist one of the tokens. Oh, yeah. I guess that is less chance of going wrong. Yeah. Okay, game's over. Oh, it's just a line. GG's. We did it! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Up game one. Do I even have to kill anything? I mean, I will. Annihilate, sure, kind annihilate, of... annihilate a Seagate Oracle, I guess. Yeah, it really fits the theme. No, don't concede. I need to cast it. <laughs> no. <gasps> okay. <sighs> that was close. No! <laughs> oh. 
They got us, they got us. Oh man. Stopping that opportunity felt really good. I know. Making them discard that. They thought they were Gross. so clever with the Raven's Crime, but then all the lands they discarded came back to haunt them. Yeah, they did discard a lot to that, huh? One of my favorite... Do you follow Popper at all? Probably not. No, is, is it a Constructed or something? Yeah. <laughs> you, if you do ever get into Constructed Magic, Popper <laughs> might be something you'd like. Because it's just mm, no rares. Okay. Okay, okay. It's the only format I'm willing to play. Hey, thanks. All right. Amaz is here too. But but you can play like comments and comments and comments to feel like rares, right? Yeah, I mean, it's still pretty in intense. I think I'm going to keep this hand. I think this hand's great. Um, yeah, so it's all commons, and some of them feel pretty broken, like the Tron lands, for example, aren't common. Oh, um, Tron lands are common. You get Ephemerate, Mole Drifter, so. so it's kind of degenerate. Okay, okay. What was I saying? I was mentioning Popper for a reason. Oh, yeah, one of my favorite decks in Popper. Uh-oh, this is a problem. Mm -mm. One of my favorite decks in Popper is uh, Tortured Existence, where you have, like, Tilling Tree Folk, which gets two lands from your graveyard to hand, and then you just keep okay. Ravens Criming your opponent to death. Interesting. I'm going to play the Marsh. Yes. We uh, are in trouble. Yeah, this is bad. Yeah. Two drop. Oh, my oh! gosh. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> We're so dead. Oh no. Okay, okay. There's a land. Uh huh. Okay, well, I guess we have to pass. Yeah, control just doesn't do anything. Oh no. Let's see. If we draw a swamp, uh, no, we're dead. <laughs> yeah, we're so dead. This card is so good. It looks it's so anemic, good. right? It's a one mana one one. Right. Please don't pump. We need them to cast a spell. Okay, good, okay. good, good. We counter. Whatever. Oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I guess we counter. I'm going to counter because they have a mentor. We have to, right? Do I mana leak or essence capture? Um, I think... I might wanna... Well, yeah, we might want to essence capture so we can... Oh, no, well, no. We have to use a counter anyways, right? With Enclave Cryptologist. I like this. So I think I'm going to play on the mana leak. Then it can go okay. Cryptologist Island. Oh, and then put a counter on it. Yeah. yeah, and then we can maybe trade for the Banneret. Okay, okay. I like that. It's not a great situation. Okay. Or we can just Chittering Rats. Chittering Rats is good. Yeah, I like Chittering Rats. Put in this mix and land drops. Okay. Then we get to cycle Deem Worthy. Deem Worthy, nice. Okay, we're alive. I don't know how we're surviving. I mean, I guess opponent missing a land drop helps a lot. Right. Maybe they're just Did all they mulligan? three drops. One, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight. I think they mulliganed once. Okay. No! All that's right, fine. That's dead. So, hmm. They have two cards. They still missed a land still drop. No land. So I think I'm just going to okay. pass. Yeah, I like um, that. I'm just debating which one to deem worthy. Uh, probably the first striker, I guess. Yeah, because at least then we can like block. Right. I'm going to give them the opportunity to pump. Okay, so they're not doing anything. I'm yeah. still just going to kill the first striker, though. I think so, yeah. We might actually get there. It's not looking bad. Hey! Get in there, Spectre. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> not the worst. And a Boros Signet. Okay. So, there's no way to make Signet Spectre work, I don't think, but that's okay. But we can do Spectre Cryptologist. Yeah. That, that, that's reasonable. And Spectre is particularly brutal here because they're missing land drops. Right. Um, I'm also okay just trading off with the Goblin Banneret. Because, like... You could dodge your burn spell. Yeah. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> that's so good. Oh my gosh. All right, land. Untapped. Oh, that's good. Okay, okay. I think I'm going to main phase that. Oh, I could I get so. them to pump, though. No, because like we have um we have untap line we have tap lines. Right? Yeah, you're right, and we want to play Denrogo. Yeah, already. yeah. Okay, we're at seven. No. Oh. Honden's <laughs> definitely coming out of this game. Mm hmm. Okay. Nothing. That's, wow. That's good. Um, I want to. Uh, huh. Maybe I do want to play the Honden. Yeah, I guess sing the Honden, right? Yeah. Or do I want to essence capture? 
I guess I can't mm, now. We can't. Yeah. yeah, you can't, you can't. <laughs> Just messed up. <laughs> Love it when the game decides for you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, so we need to like not have something super scary this turn. Okay. That's fine. They discard. Ooh. That means they probably... Hmm. So I can horror the Pyromancer. One, two, three, okay. four, five, six. So I can't horror plus Spectre. Horror can... Pyromancer seems fine. All right, let's do that. I like it. Hold up the most suspicious land. <laughs> wow, we actually got to use both the counters on the Vivid Land. I, that's what I'm saying. It's a good. We, what do we use it for? Red? Both times? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah. They discard the Pyromancer. Ooh. Okay. okay. That's not the worst. So the they worst lose the last worst. card in their hand. Charging Monster Sword. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I have Essence Capture, <laughs> that's though. That's uncastable now. But no, that's uncastable. Oh, oh that's fair, yeah, yeah. Okay, so they're down to no cards in hand. Right. Ooh. Last that... card was... Murderous Red Cap. Mm -hmm. Um, I kind of want to just Ravaging Blaze for a whole bunch. I think that's a good choice. Just leave up Essence Capture, right? Yeah, because they have no cards in hand, and uh -huh. they can't profitably attack. The only downside is if they have, like, a Burn Spell. Okay. Do I blaze? One, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can hit them for seven. Uh, yeah, I think it's fine. Yeah, because we have essence capture to kill other creatures. Do that. Do that. I have spell mastery for sure. That one. Okay. They're both identical. Cool. They have to discard whatever this is. Okay. Oh. Didn't want to show it. Awesome. Nice. Um. So I said Hanan was bad, but it was like really good there. <laughs> <laughs> red green beatdowns i think i'm gonna cut it on the draw it's very slow um maybe hmm. it is a really good win condition though the best one yeah but if we get to the point where we've tapped out for a four drop that doesn't do anything and we win like we don't die aren't we gonna win anyway not really because they can just like top deck monster swords and, and you just want to stop them from ever having anything and then you can just kind of maneuver to the wind quite easily, right? All right, we'll keep the Honden. I think I like keeping the Honden. Uh, I would be off something like Turn to Mist or... Uh, yeah, that, that's, <laughs> that's like the first one I saw. Yeah, because I, I, I don't know if it's worth messing up my mana for Blessed Alliance, but this is the best card we have in the matchup. Mm -hmm. Alternatively, true. there is Bear's Companion plus... Oh man, we're going deep. Death Sprout River Hoopoo. <laughs> Oh god. Do we have five mana to gain two life and draw a card? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just saying I think that's more of a late game inevitability than Honden. I think I'm just gonna keep it with the main deck. Okay. Alright. Well it worked so well just now. Yeah. What could go wrong? We we were on the draw, right? We Yes, we were. We were actually we were. Yeah, so that's turn one banner red. Oh yeah. Perfect. Wait. Perfect. <laughs> Yeah, this hand's fine. This is perfect. <laughs> One black man, and then we're good. Let it be known that River Hoopoo would have been castable. That's true. In like three turns. Yeah, a little slow. No! It's not the one. Oh, and they hit a land. Oh, no. Okay. So I play right. this. Yeah? I can bounce the Branch Walker. That seems bad. So I'm gonna we take are it. sweating a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to take a hit. Fair enough. Because if they don't have a play and I bounce it during combat, then they just get to replay it. But we really want them to play like... Well, nothing, nothing. would be ideal. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, yeah. Alpine. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. I think I'm just going to bounce that. Yeah, I think so. That lets me play I the love bounce that. land. Yeah, this card is really three man, three, three. Yeah, that puts a mox into play. Yeah, I like it. Oh, uh, but they they lose the mox here, but you know. But then they get it away. back when they replay him. <laughs> yeah. It also thins your deck a little bit, like. A little bit. That's true. Okay, annihilate was kind of what we uh -huh. wanted to see. It's kind of not what we want to see, right? It's double black. <laughs> yeah, I was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, our whole hand is unplayable. All those cards I wanted to bring in would have been castable here. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Ah, uh, the one card we needed was swamp. We need to bring in more swamps. 
Yeah. This is, this is awkward. The double black is particularly rough. Although if we draw a kill spell here, we're still okay. I mean, a black source. Boros charm. Hmm. I can't cast anything. <laughs> uh -huh. All right, all right. So we're about to take... They can almost triple pump. Yeah, mm. yeah that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 damage. 13 damage. And then also raise a dead card. Yeah, which is like our only... Okay. I'm trying to think of there no, any... Is, um... is there anything mm. we can draw? In our deck? Yeah. In magic, uh, obviously. Uh, deem worthy into something? <laughs> no, no, no. Deem worthy. We can't draw like Dinrova Horror plus land. This is effectively a mulligan to one, two, three, <laughs> four, five. A mulligan to two. <laughs> <laughs> and no wonder we're losing. Yeah, just bad luck. Nothing to do with deck right. building at all. I don't want to be results oriented, but let's add in a swamp. All right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's add in a swamp. <laughs> let's count the black sources first. Okay. All right, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, uh, I'm just gonna cut an island for yeah, swamp. Yeah, fair enough. Um, I um, yeah, I guess we didn't really draft a huge sideboard for an aggro matchup or any matchup actually. Well, we did. But you're against it, you see. All right, all right, let's bring it in. Let's let's go. <laughs> <laughs> let's right. go. Getting rid of chittering rats. Getting rid of Honden. Okay. Uh, at that point, I don't. Oh, skin render and ulcerate are annihilate are so good. Blessed Alliance is good. Okay, I want to see what's happening. <laughs> Master Splicer is good. Senate Guild Mage is two life return. That is true. So we brought in a bunch of white. Let me think about this. How many white sources do I have? <laughs> One, two, three. Okay. So we can go up to... We could do that. I can get rid of Essence Capture because it's a bit reactive. Hard on the mana. Okay. We can cut a blue then. I could even cut Counterspell. Fair enough. Get rid of another blue. And then... One more planes, maybe? How many white sources? I think I need another white source. Yeah. How is that? Blessed Alliance it looks is good. like a masterpiece. <laughs> well, is it better than our Chittering Rats Essence Capture Counter? Yeah, I, I guess it is. I guess it is. All right. <laughs> the button has All been right, clicked. Great. Yeah. And then we have Chris's Charm and Sidrax's Spectre. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Um, yeah, that's, that's great. Sure. Lured away the Spectre now. Oh man, yeah, the combos. That's right. And then turn, yeah, look, this is going to be totally fine. The white man is going to give us the guild mage that's going to gain two life for like 30 turns in a row. <laughs> what do you think our chances of winning are? Oh, great sideboarding, man. Uh, it, it, the chances don't matter. It's just that this is sweet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we pass turn, get rid of the stinky specter. Okay. So, we don't copy the level up counters, do we? No, 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 no. <laughs> that would be quite No! Busted. Fine. Acceptable. See? There it is! Okay! <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. And they use the removal on this card. <laughs> we can also okay. start making servos and make them into copies of the guild mage. And then just gain all the life. There's the swamp. Uh, oh, okay. Well, do we Sahili here? So we can Sahili this turn, and then we can Guild Mage plus Unearth next turn if we need to. Uh huh. We can also just await, uh, await our creature too. Yeah, I think I'd rather put something in play. Oh, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah maybe yeah, Sahili is better. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. It's more efficient. And um, one one seems to be great. We can also do some crazy things like Unearth the Spectre after we've made some Copy one ones. It. Oh, yeah. Okay. So that guy's going away. That guy needs to die. We have all of our mana. Like, this is the perfect deck. Yeah, let's just kill it. Mm-hmm. Away with you. Shoo. Man, I wish I could copy a Moldrifter so bad and get the ability. <laughs> I mean, you could. <laughs> oh, no, you can't. You can't. You can't do that. Yeah, I won't. <laughs> it's, not a, 
Is that an ETP thing? Yeah, so if they don't do anything, I think I like the Unearth plus make a thing. Annex. Oh. This is a 2-3. Whenever it or another non-token creature dies, they make a 1-1 one, one Seder. Okay. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I like that. So I can jam okay. a Bull Drifter. I can play the Guild Mage. So how's Guild Mage plus Unearth plus Copy? Well, the Copy... Oh, yeah, cause, yeah, let's just do that. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, I'm going to start with Unearth and then I'll Guild Mage later. Sure. Give them less information. Yeah, because them going down to two cards in hand is pretty good. Sahili! This also hits them for six damage. Yeah, not bad. Look at this deck. <laughs> <laughs> wow, they discarded Branching Bolt. What is in their hand? That was the instant discard, too. Wow, oh, their hand was... Must... <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it's got to be Charging Monstrosaur, right? Oh, that would make sense. Like land but charging monster. Do anything about it. Yeah, I'm just gonna play yeah. the guild mage. We just gotta draw a kill spell. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh, I don't need that much black. Okay, okay. Oh, you called it. I know my. Wow, that powers him up. That's crazy. So Sahili is dying. Yeah. Oh, that's a weird attack. Oh. No, yeah, no. The other way. The other way. The other way. Darn yeah. it. <laughs> Uh -huh. But they're at 14. I mean, I'm just going to take uh, this. Yeah, I think we just take it. Don't want to lose the guild mage. Okay, that's good. That's good. Okay, okay. Um, So I can loot? Because I really need a way to get rid of this monster sword, and I have quite a few ways. Yeah, Annihilate and uh, Theme Worthy. So I can loot and then play Mole Drifter. Sure. Ooh, all right. Um... I don't think I, I guess I do have some double black cards. Cast this. Okay, that'll do it. That, that's, that's good, that's good. I have the one spell in my graveyard, but... Yeah, um, I would say just leave this back behind. Yeah, I, I want to double block the Annex. Mm -hmm. Okay. Could also chump the Annex, too. Yeah, but we don't really need... Like, if we survive this turn, I think we're doing quite well. Let's see, do I chump okay. or double block? Hmm. So double block means that when you kill the rat, when you kill the monster store, there's no two satyrs that are gonna beat you up. As well. Yeah, I, I think yeah, if like this goes it. through, it's good. The thing I'm worried about yeah. is them having a a kill spell. But is that so bad? I think that's fine. Yeah, we'll do this. Yeah. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Another big boy. I think you might want to talk a little louder, just a heads up. Okay, okay, okay. Or just get closer or something. Oh, That's a good one! Okay, so... That is very sick. What do I do here? I think, I I... think we might... Okay, you bounce the Kavu, and then hold up the mana you want on the Guild Mage. I think I want to gain life. I think so, too. Yeah. One, two, three, four, I'd, I'd yeah. That. So let's play... We have Read the Bones as well, and that helps. Oh, that's fair, yeah. Play this... Bounce the Kabu. I can double block the Monster Sword if it comes to that. Oh, I think it has to come to that, yeah. It depends on what they do. True. Because we. Minus what? Two cards? So Kabu plus the one they drew? Yeah, so it could be. I guess it has to be specifically a burn spell, and even then, that's not. Okay, well, I can gain, we can gain two life. <laughs> yeah, actually, I think I'm just going to take it here. <gasps> mm, okay. Maybe. Because if, if the double lock works, we're just trading the Din Rover Horror for the 5-5. Okay, 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 okay. I'm sold. Which is quite something. And if it doesn't work, then they can't play the Kabu, because they have to use mana to do it. Right, stuff. true, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, that, that, that makes it just, just the right play. Yeah. We might actually pull this out. The white mana. Wait, do we win? Are we... Are we is, is this the third game or something? What yeah, is this it? is the third game. Oh, wow, okay. It went through! Oh, nice. man. Nice. <laughs> How greedy do yeah, we want to get? Because I could uh, save up to Searing Blaze the Kabu. <laughs> 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 uh, I think that's a terrible idea, but... Uh, be, see what we draw. Yeah. Annihilate. Planes. <laughs> Annihilate this. Uh, do I have mana? No. So... If we just kill it, we can still loot or gain life? Yeah. Yeah. That seems okay. Yeah, I'm fine with it. One, two, three, four, five. So I need to play a land. Right, one, two, three. Yeah, so I'll play land. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
And I'm just going to kill it now. Yep, 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 I think so. Do that. Um, I think I still probably just want to gain life. Um, sure, because like once I can read the bonus, it's just always going to draw to your actual card. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Four, five. Five. Get out of here, son. So keep that back to block. They have one card in hand. We kill all their scary things. Mm-hmm. Or at least we think. Yeah. I'm trying to think they could, like, Palaka Worm us. That would be a problem. No, no, no. That's, this is an aggro deck. Everything has to have haste. <laughs> all right. Read the bones. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> I think that was our this only... This is awesome. Um, that was our only double red spell, I think. Turn to Mist, Gruel Turf, I think oh, are both pretty no. bad. Yeah, both bad. That's good. Perfect. Play this. Um, I could hold up Ulcerate. I think I'm going to hold up Ulcerate just in case. Okay. Because I'm just yeah, going mean, to so far ahead. Away. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Also, this can't block. Well, that's suspicious. <laughs> Uh, block. <laughs> what do I block with? I think the I block with the Whirl of Rogue. Because the sure. only thing this makes sense to me is if they have something that does like one damage to each creature or like an electrolyze, yeah. maybe. Yeah, that could happen. Oh. Uh. <laughs> oh, GG. Okay, we got there. Wow. Okay, we did it. Who needs those black cards? <laughs> Amazing cyber tech. Ten out of ten. Would recommend. That's right. <laughs> all right we're in the finals should okay. we make any changes to our deck before then change it to what we had just now do you want four to, color you... four color grixis no <laughs> i mean look if you want to oh man <laughs> the blessed alliance was pretty good against that guy yeah that's true i think i'm gonna keep it the same because the counter magic is good like it was only bad because yeah. they have like infinite haste creatures yeah yeah all that stuff I just don't like playing one, like losing to one card from a game that was like completely winnable. <sighs> yeah. That Ooh. Can happen. Ooh. That's a good hand. That is a really good hand. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Man, if we trophy with this deck, I'm going to be very happy. Of course. This deck is beautiful. Alvaz. Thank you. Good luck. Have fun. Island mm -hmm. thingmajig. Turn two, just bounce land, and then turn three, exclude. Yeah? No! That's not fair. <laughs> That's a good one. I could have leveled up and started looting, but... This I, is good. I like this. Yeah, I think we need a lot of our cards. Um, please don't do anything. If they don't do anything, I'm just going to hold up Exclude. I think I'm just going to hold sure. up Exclude anyway. Anyways, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, Iwo Mori would be a problem. That card is so good. I have yet to see it be put into play and have the trigger matter. Uh, I have put it to play, and my opponent put a Sarkara on me, and that was not good. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Ooh, Thrashing Brontodon, okay. Well, we can cross it. Ooh, okay. This hand's getting better. Yep. We, we can cross it later. Yeah. And so my plan is to next turn cross this charm, obviously hold up exclude, and then far away the next turn. Yeah. That's a pretty sick curve. Sure. That has to go. Yeah. <laughs> that card is... Ooh, skin render. That's... that's Ooh! Oh! <laughs> we don't have double black! No! I just have to cross right, this charm so the mother. To, yeah, we have to kill mom. That's yeah. Fine. A little bit unfortunate, but mom is... Uh -huh. Something else. Too good. Yeah. Yeah. And it's fine. We get to skin render next turn, and that basically kills the Brontodon. Do we have any enchantments? Do we have any enchantments? Uh, Honden. Oh, that's true. Okay. That's good. All right. So we can skin render the Finx. I think I'm going to start there. We could do that. Because it uh, persist doesn't work. Yeah, but we can also bounce the Finx and just make them sack something too. Oh, yeah. They don't have lands. Yeah. And then we can skin render it or something. Oh, yeah, that's good. I'm going to do that now. Yeah. Oh, Please. did we fuse? No. Wait, it diffuses the, the second Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Ooh, good catch, yeah. good catch. Bounce. Yeah. You saw the sequencing was weird and we're like... Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would have been really bad if I just bounced. I think I'm going to attack with the Cryptologist. <laughs> All right, show them what's up. <laughs> <laughs> Asserting dominance where you can. Okay. So now we want them to play Kitchen Finks. 
And then we can one, bounce two, three, that too. Four, five. Yeah, because I guess we do want to. Although, yeah. let's see. If I draw blue, I think drawing an island would be the best possible situation. Yes, yes. Oh. One, two, three, okay. four, five. I'm just going to play horror on Kitchen Finks. I think so, yeah. Let's lock our opponent down out of doing anything. Quite unfortunate. They're only on two lines. I know. Then they replay it. We have a four. Will they discard Palaka Worm? <laughs> okay. <laughs> They must be ramp. I wonder if I'm yeah. supposed to just skin render the pilgrim instead. Oh, I like that. It's really aggressive. Oh, but now we can do both things, right? Like skin render. Yeah, skin, we can do everything now. Skin render the Finx, bounce mana war, or the other way? Yeah, I think so. I think we just want the Finks to die permanently. Yeah, that's fair, because they are up to 26 life. Right. Get that up in the air. And yeah, this is... Oh, we're, we're good, we're good, we're good. Send the team, including the Cryptologist. Uh -huh. I like how you like alternate the turns uh, you know, of her attacking or not. The, the mental damage is higher. Because it, <laughs> then it seems like there's a reasoning behind what I'm doing. Uh -huh, uh -huh. When there's really not. Ooh. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I, I think I, I just want to... just hold up Essence Capture, huh? Yeah, because I can counter the Pilgrim. Okay. And of course, this is the other turn, so we don't attack with her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, who knows? Next, I'm going to skip two turns here, and then we'll attack the following <laughs> turn. Do I, I think I counter that, right? Oh, yeah, sure. Why not? Uh, counter on the jellyfish. Sure. Yeah, that way if they play a 2-2, two -two, I can attack into it. Okay. And then I don't have any artifacts for Sahili, but we'll get there. And they still miss the land drop. That's so brutal. Yeah. Read the oh, okay. Um so we're gonna place the Healy like this. That way I can level up the cryptologist. Okay, fair enough. Oh, but now we can't level twice. <laughs> yeah, but I couldn't place a Healy and level twice anyway. Oh yeah, sure, 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 sure. I sure. mean I guess you know what? I probably should have just drawn a card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh this is good. Cause I really wanted to get a artifact into play. Whoa, what do you have? What Whoa! is this? Okay. What the heck? Um, I think I'm just going to get Island. Island sounds good. Although we do have a double red spell. Actually, yeah. Right? We just have one double yeah, red. Yeah, we only need to level the Cartologist two, two more times. Yeah. Mountains and good. we're probably good, yeah. We can also make a servo, turn it into the Cryptologist, double level, and then, and then draw a card. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I guess again. Yep. Servo of a level up counter. That's something I haven't seen before. <laughs> Uh oh. Uh huh. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This targets any artifact. Okay. So we still do not get to level up the cryptologist, but that's okay. Uh uh. So we can go unblockable, or we could just deem worthy the splicer and swing out. We can, yeah, 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 yeah. We could also just, yeah, let's deem worthy the splicer and then just swing. I like that. Okay. Uh. Probably should have done that first, I guess, but it's okay. Yeah, it's cool. We could still draw bounce land. I think I maybe played a land. I'm not sure. I think we're just basically making game actions here. <laughs> just play the game. Oh, that's a good draw. Mm -hmm. Attack, attack. Kill skin render, sure. They fall to four. I have... If I could play two spells next turn, I can... Oh, wait, no. They're just, like, very dead. I think they're just very dead. Yeah, nice. okay. <laughs> nice. I think counter magic is still going to be good against this opponent. Yeah, for, for sure. He has big creatures. But I think I want the Jin. All right. Because it has like flying is so good against green white. That is true. Uh, what if I get rid of Sahili? <gasps> Sahili, <laughs> one of our best cards in the deck. <laughs> How could you? Okay, okay. Well, maybe turn to mist. Uh, yeah, I'd be okay with losing turn to mist. All right. Well, we'll keep Sahili. Sorry. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah. I spoke blasphemy <laughs> there. <laughs> yeah. What are you saying? Ooh. We have to discard probably, but... Yeah, we probably do. <sighs> Unless we draw a turn two, or a turn one play, I mean. I feel like a turn to miss would be really good right about now. And... <laughs> Whoa. What is that? <laughs> that was not what I thought was going to happen there. Okay. Good. This is a very different deck than what I saw before. Um, the bright side is we get to Chittering Rats. Yep. And then Exclude. Yeah. Yep. What the heck? <laughs> I mean, I guess we didn't yeah, really see them play changed. any spells, but... That's true, that's true. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, 
Red source. Well, it's, I, it's gonna stick around. I think I cut all the mountains. Oh, really? Yeah, I think so. Well, I mean, we could just hold up the exclude here. That's true, but the problem is they have sunset pyramids, so like... Yeah. Well, the problem with playing Shedding Rats is that you're going to play the Bounce Land next turn, right? So then you can't hold up Exclude that turn either. What if I just play Bounce Land? This No, that's bad. I have to discard. So if I, I play Exclude, I still have to discard. No? Wait, do you? Because I'm at 7. This would put me at 7. I would drop to 8. Right. And then you play Bounce Land, Shedding Rats? A Jilling Rats, Bounce Land? And then you I see, I see. The sequence... Yeah. Okay, we'll try this. And if they don't play Creature, it's also fine uh yeah um, ish <laughs> the sun's up here they can scry every turn as well if they scry and upkeep we're done okay okay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i hope they start attacking with mom see maybe the <laughs> that never happens Come the on. attacks with my enclave cryptologist like put them off uh-huh no no oh no <laughs> opponents stop playing that's, smart that's unfortunate. but we got this. True. Oh, All right, line. Attack. Go. All right. Well, we're going to play rats. All right. And we play bounce land. And I'm going to bounce the swamp because I'd like to have double blue next turn. That's right. We're still fine. They only played an ancestral recall. It's cool. <laughs> Eight mana ancestral recall is still ancestral recall. Yeah. I mean, opportunity is still absurd. Although that's mm -hmm. way above the rate. But you know what I mean? Oh, now you play the Pilgrim. This is such a different deck. Um, but none of yeah, the creatures do anything. Do anything. Mana leak. One, two, three, four. So huh. I kind of want to not. How much mana do they have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, I guess we pass, huh? Yeah, because if oh, the problem is none of my cards do anything. <laughs> okay, so if um if our opponent doesn't play anything. We can just cycle Dean Worthy and annihilate the mom. That could be a thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Because yeah. if they play Polaka Worm here, we're, like, very dead. We, we can't let that happen. Yeah, I guess they would need, like, two more green sources. But something like that would be scary. And if we draw mm -hmm. a single land, we can Haunt it with Mana Leak up. Also, Exclude would be very good. Wow. Opponent just holding all lands, apparently. All right, something... Ooh. Oh! Okay, well, does uh, that do anything? So we have the one burning ink. I don't think that does that much. I think I'm going to cycle Deemworthy now. Okay, I like that. And then they have to mom, and then we just annihilate mom and hope for the best. We even I like get that. To I this for two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I could draw like a four spike or something that's not in the deck. <laughs> and the best, we still get to draw the card, right? Oh, that's sweet. Yes. It's a separate trigger, yeah. Yeah, we're fine. Ooh. Uh, nice. So they play the Wanderer. I think I kind of just want to far away instead of Annihilate. Sounds good. Could also Krosis Charm and leave up Exclude. Ooh, I like that way more. I like that way, way more. Yeah, yeah let's do that. Kill this. Play this. Heck you. And I, yeah, we just have that one burn spell, and I think Whirler Rogue can deal with the Wanderer pretty well. For sure. They did not scry on upkeep. It's so nice that they have this, because it means Mana Leak is probably going to be active for like the whole game. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they get to scry every turn, but there is some upside. Yep. Opponent, just play Palaka Worm. You can't. The cats. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Pet Umbra Worm, maybe. Ooh, that card is scary. Uh, yeah, no. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So now, oh, if we draw a land, now, land, 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 land. I like the attack. Come on, deck, give us a land. Untapped. Oof. Uh, I think I just play Honden. Uh, Honden's great here. And hold up. I have nothing else to do with any other mana. This I wanted to fine. land so I could Sahili into Honden, but I guess uh, Mana Leak is fine as well. Right. I wonder what's in their hand. Because they've missed land drops too. Right. That attack is... That attack is weird. From their Pilgrim? Stray. Yeah. Yeah. So let's need Guild Mage. So I can't mana leak that. That's somewhat of an issue. Uh-huh. Because now that makes Far Away a little bad. I think I'm just going to annihilate it though. 
Could be could be good. Also, they have to discard every turn. Hey! <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> I told you they had it. <laughs> okay. Um, what do I want to do here? Hmm. One, two, three, four. So I can't Sahili plus Annihilate. You could Annihilate plus hold up Mana Leak. Yeah, that seems chill. Ooh, one, two, sure. I'll do that. I just really want to get yep. Sahili down there, but it's not happening. Also, I think I'm okay attacking with Chittering Rats at the yeah. Wanderer. Whoa. Uh, oh, okay. They must really be needing green. We don't get to draw a card, yeah. so that actually was pretty good for them. Not bad, not bad. We do get to kill the Wanderer, and I guess they really just wanted to empty their hand because... The Honden is the thing. Yeah, the Honden's doing stuff. Black Honden, best Honden. It, you know what? You've convinced me. This card <laughs> is fantastic. <laughs> it was even good against Mono Red or Red Green or whatever that was. Right, yeah. Okay, so here's what's going to happen. Penumbra Worm. Penumbra Worm. Conjuring. That's the one. Yeah. Well, they already, you know, we dealt with that guy. <laughs> one more. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> oh. No. <laughs> they probably play... have a lad as well. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was still oh, correct no. to do uh -huh. what they did. Do you think they're holding the land out of shame now? Watch them discard they, a land. They, no, they have to discard the land because they're holding another <laughs> card, right? Oh, that's true. They're like, holding a real card. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, that's just dirty. All right. I well. want a Sahili. Hang on. Sahili. <laughs> we need max value because we know what they're drawing. Okay. I guess they can scry it away. They can't scry away the, the Avacyn's Pilgrim. Well, actually, no, they can't. They can. But they need to tap the mana right now. I'm just going to do it. Yeah, yeah. They can. And this gets rid of their creature. So if they play anything big and scary, this gets better. Uh... Don't need that. We do have one double red card in the deck, but we're, we'll draw a mountain eventually. Right. Oh, there is a mountain in the deck. That was the mountain. Nah, we'll draw other cards. So they didn't scry with their pilgrim. Yeah, they should have, yeah, for sure. That's good for us. Opponent, wait, is this game two? Did we win game one? I think, we, yeah, we won game one because, uh, yeah, they were mana screwed. <laughs> Okay, I think we might get there. So we're going to Mana Ward. They discard their last card. Ooh, Ephemerate. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, that's good. Yeah, I'm going to Mana Ward plus Whirler Rogue. Good. So they need to draw, like, I don't even know. Yeah. Are they? I they need to actually count Sahili. So 1, 2, 3, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. No, so that's not a two-turn clock, so I'm just going to attack. Okay. Oh, wait. I want to play my land. No! Oh, oh. Super punch. The F6 value. We're going to draw the uh, the double red spell here. Oh, with the Honda trigger on the stack, bounce this guy. Ooh, okay. That's... <laughs> that I so like good. the way you think. <laughs> <laughs> such a gross deck. Oh my oh gosh. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! We well Jumped done, in. well done. All right. <laughs> I'm so glad you pointed out that play. So, so yeah, this is this is the deck. This this did it. We this is this is the combination of mana and cards that we registered and won with. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Do you have any uh, final comments about? <laughs> final comments. Um. Uh. Love the sideboard during the um during the aggro deck. It with worked. If the, the white coming in, it worked. So yeah. shout out, shout out to the sideboarding just now for you. <laughs> Thanks. Um, okay, I think that's it. Maybe. Yeah, that's it. Cool. You can do like a closing thing for your video. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I usually just end them abruptly. I don't really. This is still recording. So. <laughs> you just. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, in that case, uh, yeah, I think we're good. Yeah. So, so yeah, shout outs to Amaz. I'll give you thank you for joining me on this. Um, check out his channel. Yours is mostly Hearthstone. Do you stream magic? Yeah, mostly Hearthstone. I mostly stream Hearthstone as well, like Battlegrounds and stuff. But you okay. know, once in the blue moon, when magic sponsors me, I do some magic streams. <laughs> <laughs> you might as well, yeah. <laughs> so I'll link your stuff in the description for people who want to see Hearthstone. Okay. Um, thank you so much. This was actually a lot of fun. No problem. Yeah, that was fun. Good. Later. See ya.